Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, I was checking my teas probably around about 10 minutes ago. And when I got to the end of this collection here, I noticed uh, something at the top of the actual enclosure. And uh, this is what I actually noticed. And I thought, is that a malt or is that the spider? I mean, he's just moved. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thought, oh, the spider's right at the top of there. I thought, well, it's usually down, right down into its burrow. And I notice it's actually malted. So everyone, you can see the malt just underneath the actual transfer itself. Um, I think it looks like he's actually eating its malt. Some tarantulas do this. I think it's just to gain um, some energy back into their body or they're uh, getting the water out of the uh, malt or some moisture. So, yeah. Another malt in the collection. Let's try and get a better, uh, a better view. But before I show you a clear picture of the actual trancher, let's uh, miss the uh, enclosure and fill the water dish up. So everyone, as you can see, I've just give the enclosure just a little slight mist as well, mist of water, and plus I'm going to fill up the water dish. I always make sure that the uh, the water dishes are full after they're malt. So, because it can be a very stressing time for the trancher to malt, and um, it just replaces all their liquid and fluid in their body and they can be a little bit dehydrated from their malt so I make sure that the water dish is completely full and uh, as you can see like I said I'll just give it a slight mist um, I usually keep this enclosure completely bone dry and since I've been doing that um, this particular um, tarantula has been living perfectly fine Avix need a lot of ventilation uh, cross ventilation is a good idea but I can't get um, cross, in, cross ventilation in these enclosures because it's glass. But um, yeah, it seems to be per working perfectly fine for me. And there we go, everyone. A bit of a better uh, quality picture there. And you can see the absolutely beautiful red and black colours on the actual abdomen. Uh, I personally think this is a female. Um, and plus, I think it's around about the two and a half to three inch mark now uh, a little bit surprised it's malted so yeah beautiful beautiful tea uh, this is what a adult female looks like so everyone that was a picture of a an adult female and you can see that my avic minatrix is getting them colors as well so yeah I'm not too sure when she malted, uh, so I'll still leave it uh, for about a week for her to harden up. But yeah, you can see the beautiful colours. And what I've done was I just got a couple of um, cotton buds with water on. And I just cleaned the, uh, the front of the glass there so you can get a nice clear view of my Avic that's freshly malted. So yeah. Just a little short video of showing you one of my beautiful tarantulas that's malted. So, like I said, I'll leave her for a week to harden up. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.